podcast world welcome to my channel today is 4 8 2021 at 10 4 a.m and i'm just here to talk about drugs are you on them and why or why not <laughs> but no seriously though i've come across a lot of drug heads i guess i'll say people that are on meth or aesthetic or just plain old fashion high quality uh weed with all its strenuous names that i've never heard of before oh i got that new uh superman or i got that new green crack og kush um i got that new cheech and chong i got you know oh i got the stickiest of icky you know i don't know man like where are they getting these names from when it comes to drugs and what is the mindset of someone who does drugs now i'm gonna go even further than that because i'm not downing my people who smoke weed i mean shout out to the states who are forward thinking and getting all that money off of marijuana sales like thank you thank you thank you what is that colorado california washington state um i think illinois and is uh oregon maybe either way it's about four or five different states uh you know the more liberal states or whatever so i know for sure california and colorado and washington state and oregon I, I, that, that general area up there in the northwest so hey have at it those are places that if you go and you're on public transportation with something else that i don't really like then you're gonna be surrounded by someone who smokes some kind of weed and i say some kind because you probably bound to come off of that bus with a contact like you never had before and you're gonna be semi-high or low or whatever now my thing is me and my homo was talking the other day a friend of mine and he was talking about drugs are narcotics you know he was like i'm not gonna do anything that's narcotic based if it said if it's got narcotics in it then i don't want to do it he's like i don't understand how you you let's say a white powdery um epsom salty looking substance comes along and is in front of you and you say i want to snort that or let me eat that or let me stick that in my arm you know like i don't understand the mindset of a drug user i don't understand an addict i don't understand those who say oh um can't smoke real weed because i'm on probation or parole let me smoke this fake synthetic weed that's like potpourri oh yeah that's what it is let's smoke that thetic so i i don't understand you know the mindset of people who use drugs and i don't understand for me they they call it mood enhancers so i'm not really a big mood enhancer person i don't think that's uh for me um you out of there on the mood enhancement situation if if the mood enhancement like whatever you're trying to do requires you to stay up days at a time or sleep for days at a time and it's causing you to have poor hygiene your teeth falling out and you're not washing your ass that is an issue with me so i would encourage you to please get help if you're out there and they have um, several types of facilities rehab and whatnot um that I have you kind of saying the serenity prayer in no time. Um, if your thing is drinking, you're an alcoholic, uh, go for it. Please go find help. And if your thing is something much deeper that you're connected to an addiction like gambling, I salute the people who are out there and they have like their nymphos and they have like some sort of sex addiction i i'm, I'm personally all for procreation like go for it if that's what if, if boning makes you feel good if sex is what thing that makes you that gets you all go for it, it, it you you were designed to uh, to do that you know you were designed to enjoy that 
But some of these things or whatever, especially if it's narcotic based, chemical based, um, whatever, most drugs come from plants. So when people make the statement of it's a plant guy put here for me, yada yada talking about weed, that's one of the weed defense stories. I mean, so is cocaine. <laughs> and some people can argumentatively say so is sugar and so is caffeine. Like these these too much of anything, it doesn't matter if you are addicted to food. Uh, overeating is horrible too. It, it, it's going to take a toll on your body. Um, so anything that you do in excess is going to mess you up. Like right? even if it's positive, too much water is too much water. Too much sleep is too much sleep. Too too much exercise is too much exercise. Like you got to find a way to do everything you need in moderation. But I much rather hear you say, "Oh, I want to drink water," than "Oh, I want to drink whiskey." And here it is; it's the middle of the day. It just turned twelve o'clock noon. So, like they say, people that do drugs usually have an excuse or find an excuse, the reason not that they need it, that push to do some type of drugs or whatever. And then you have those enhancement smokers or drug users or whatever be like hey you ever done this and that on drugs or no <laughs> never done anything on drugs I'm, I just feel like the D.A.R.E. program is failing us I'll never forget my 5th grade year I was so excited cause I saw my brother and sister before me get to do it and they come in there and, this, and I did the D.A.R.E. program in 95 that was in the mid 90s and that was like at the peak of when drugs were right crack you know that was the peak of the crack uh thing or whatever and it was like when people would say oh crackheads who hoop through a cheerio and how they out of this or they come in with that egg and be like oh this is your brain this is your brain on crack you know brain on drugs and all that i took that with me, you know what I'm saying, that's one thing that I'll never forget, when they crack that egg, you know, they smash it, and they're like, oh, this is your brain on crack, I don't want my brain to be on crack, I don't want, you know, that's not something that I really want, so, I've always said, more or less, no to drugs, now, I have experimented with marijuana, you know, I feel like, uh, this day and age, who hasn't, you know, um, it's hard, but my thing also is age appropriate. Like kids are starting to be doing drugs. Like they ain't even old enough to drive, not even in middle school, and they're like nine years old out there doing drugs or smoking out of a bike pen or or whatever the case is. So it's just a thought. Just something to put out there in the atmosphere. Yep. <laughs> So, with that being the case, please find help, the help that you need. Don't be a Rick James. <laughs> Don't let your life uh, bring you down with the power of cocaine. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. That's what Rick James said. <laughs> cocaine is a hell of a drug. Like like they, the narrator said, why did y'all get us some help? We did. <laughs> beat his legs down to like they were like linguines <laughs> so um, this is me to you hoping to get the message out that maybe you will get the help you need when it comes to drugs that you're using narcotics you know um, even if it's you know let me say they say we use gateway but I just don't really see how you could how you can decide to do some more hardcore drugs. Especially like once you hear about people that died and fainted and dehydrated or anything like that. So, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Please find help and bring world peace because uh, no one wants you to be out and being strung out and living off change on the street trying to support your habit and I also would say that I'm tired of seeing people not giving their children a chance and smoking before the baby is born like give it up for nine months please 
for your child has some sort of breathing disorder or some sort of disorder like asthma. Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.